Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our daily oracle and tarot card reading. And today's reading will be for Monday, December 21st. And all week long, we're going to be using the Archangel Power Tarot Card Deck by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. And let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And the first card is Six of Michael. And the next card is Page of Ariel. And the last card is number 18, the moon. Okay, so we start out with Six of Michael. Okay, and the Six of Michael reads, it's the light at the end of the tunnel, breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. And it is a beautiful, beautiful picture. It's Archangel Michael and he's standing inside a boat and the boat is actually hovering above the water. Okay, and down below there is uh, uh, raging waters, there's clouds. What I get from spirit when I look at this card, first of all, the blue is very calming, very peaceful, and, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel. We've been making so much progress this year. I know this year has been tremendous for me as far as self-improvement and learning a lot of new and different things. And I know a lot of you out there have been working so hard to change things in your life. And this is telling us there's light at the end of the tunnel. That's a good sign. It's not that we're stuck anymore. It's not that we're struggling. We are making progress. Light at the end of the tunnel is a very, very positive sign. And then the next card, the Page of Ariel. Okay. And it's a beautiful pink card. And the card reads, an excellent opportunity will be offered to you, scholarships or the pursuit of education, time to get to work. And this could be uh, based on what we were doing uh, for the past few months, maybe taking up some type of a, a skill or maybe trying to turn one of our hobbies into a career. So this card, what I get is she's standing in a library and there are all those books. And when I think of uh, a library and books, of course, we think of study, but knowledge, the knowledge that we've learned up to this point is also taking us in the right direction. If you've been reading maybe self-help books, um, maybe you're, you're doing something of an online course, maybe to change careers, uh, but it's saying here, time to get to work. An excellent opportunity will be offered. And yes, um, the opportunity, I mean, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, okay? This card's telling us there's going to be an opportunity, possibly at the end of that tunnel, because we've moved through a phase in our life uh, this whole year, and we're ready to begin 2016 with a new perspective on things. And this learning doesn't have to be professional learning where you attend a college or even take classes. This could be learning on your own, studying books uh, on your own, uh, reading by yourself. You don't actually have to belong to a group in order to be able to take advantage of this. And the excellent opportunity sounds very exciting. And then the next card is the moon. Okay, and the moon is just that beautiful full moon in the background. And it says the opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, Face the fears and grow stronger. Yes, don't allow your fears to hold you back. You're almost there. You've passed through a phase in your life. You've learned so much. You've put in the hard work. Don't allow fear and doubt to overtake you at this point. 
Um, this card is very soothing. Um, there's a blue background, although the card is purple. And the woman is just standing there. It's Archangel Haniel, this card. Um, yeah, it's a, a sense of peacefulness. A sense of peacefulness to improve plants, listening to intuition and inaccurate guidance. And yes, that's why we need to make sure that we are grounded at all times, that we're able to pick up on our intuition. It's our internal warning system that, you know, warns us of danger. But when we're all caught up in the hustle and bustle of life or maybe in negative thoughts, you're not going to hear your intuition. You're not going to feel your gut feelings. And this card is telling you to go with your intuition. And it's possibly whatever it is that you've been studying. Okay? Some opportunity is going to present itself. And when the opportunity presents itself, go with what your gut feeling is. Whatever it may be. This may be an opportunity for a new relationship. Okay? It could be someone, like I said, uh, changing maybe a hobby into a business. Or maybe just changing their career or line of work. But whatever it is, these are very positive cards. Light at the end of the tunnel is exactly what you want to see. Continue expanding your knowledge. Like I said, you don't have to take formal courses or classes. Just picking up a book and reading what you want to improve in your life. And the last card with, you know, trusting your intuition and your guidance. Facing your fears. Growing stronger. I think we've all faced a lot of our fears this year. And we're constantly being tested. And up to this point, it looks like we're all going in a very positive direction uh, wrapping up this year. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be back.